As many of you are aware, the Air Force has implemented a new inspection system called the Air Force Inspection System, or APHIS. The APHIS is essentially the umbrella that covers all inspections and is outlined in AFI 90-201. The APHIS directs us to operate within our wings a program called the Commander's Inspection Program, or CCIP, which is designated to inspect wing-wide and tenant unit mission effectiveness and compliance. A key part of the CCIP is that it truly is the Commander's Inspection Program. We think of it this way. It is the Wing, Group, Squadron, or Flight Commander's Inspection Program. Commanders at each level can steer the portion of the inspection they oversee to find out where they have weakness in their units. This program has several key components. First, the CCIP is executed by the Wing IG. For clarification, there are two parts to the Wing IG. Complaints and Resolutions, or the IGQ, and Wing Inspections, or the IGI. The IGQ office assists airmen by facilitating complaints processing, military reprisal cases, investigations, whistleblower protection, and administrative investigations. The Wing IGI office supervises inspections. This office is responsible for coordinating, planning, and executing inspections throughout the base. IGI personnel have varying backgrounds and may be subject matter experts in some areas, but they will never have the skill set to inspect every facet of the wing, subordinate units, or tenant units. The wing IGI office relies heavily on subject matter experts that reside on the base to conduct inspections, exercises, and assessments. Second, the CCIP relies on a self-assessment program called MCT that reports compliance up the chain of command and to appropriate staffs. MCT is continually evaluated virtually by the MAGCOM level IG. The foundation of the CCIP is the subject matter experts that are embedded in units across the base. Commanders will select individuals from this pool of subject matter experts to serve as wing inspection team members or WIT. These WIT members are trained and sworn in by the wing commander, giving them authority to perform inspections. When an exercise or inspection is conducted, the WIT will observe, detect, and report on the performance and condition of the area they are assigned to inspect. WIT members submit their observations into a computer program called the Inspector General Evaluation Management System, or IGEMS. WIT members report results to their commanders and are overseen by a lead WIT member known as the Self-Assessment Program Manager, or SAPM. The SAPM works solely for the squadron or group commander. Their mission is to assist in effective program management and to manage deficiencies in the unit. SAPMs review MCT for currency and effective corrective action planning. After an inspection or exercise, the SAPM ensures deficiencies are recorded in IGEMS and tracks those deficiencies to close out by implementing corrective action plans within IGEMS. The SAPM is the single person the squadron or group commander can look to for a full understanding of the health of the unit. When the WIT inspects their unit or area of expertise, they will evaluate based on four major graded areas or MGAs. Managing resources, leading people, improving the unit, executing the mission. This is a monumental shift from what has been inspected in the past. Former inspections primarily focused on executing the mission. Now the focus is on us being well-rounded and effective in all areas. This new system is a change from many of the inspections we are familiar with. Never again will we do a unit compliance inspection, operational readiness inspection, health services inspection, ability to survive and operate. Today, the overarching inspection is the unit effectiveness inspection, or UEI. The UEI is a continual evaluation of performance throughout a 24 to 30 month inspection period for active duty and reserve units and a 48 to 60 month inspection period for Air National Guard units. Previous inspections were a snapshot in time. Today is more like a photo album where both progress and decline can be observed over time. The purpose of the UEI is to validate and verify a wing CCIP for accuracy, adequacy, and relevance, and provide an independent assessment of the wing's resource management, leadership, process improvement efforts, and ability to execute the mission. The UEI is trying to determine if we can police ourselves and that we have a robust process for detecting problems. 
To ensure we can detect problems ourselves, the Wing IGI office, with the help of the WIP members, conduct vertical, horizontal, and exercise inspections every month. A vertical inspection looks at an individual unit and evaluates them from top to bottom across all major graded areas. A horizontal inspection will look at a program that cuts across all units on base. Typically, these programs are known as bylaw programs or programs that are required by law. Finally, exercises and real-world taskings provide opportunities to inspect a variety of units across a wide range of programs and graded areas. The capstone event of the months-long UEI inspection period is intended to last approximately one week, during which time the MAGCOM IG will put boots on the ground to verify and validate your CCIP, conduct airmen to IG sessions, and independently assess unit effectiveness through task evaluations, audits, and observations. No matter when your unit's specific capstone is scheduled, your UEI cycle is occurring right now. To ensure you're always prepared, please take the time to ask yourself some key questions. As an airman, do I know the mission and vision statement for the wing, and do I know my commander's intent? Do I have a positive attitude, and am I contributing to something more than my immediate area of influence? As an airman with integrity and courage, have I honestly disclosed the deficiencies within my area of influence? On a final note, as airmen, we should know our job, we should do our job, and we should tell our supervisors and leaders when we can't do our job. We encourage each of you to find ways to help the Air Force elevate to higher levels. Thank you for your support and all you do.